Today, I want to do an eye tutorial using the eyeshadow palette I received in the Ofra Cosmetics mystery box. Now, if you haven't seen the mystery box unboxing, girl, that box was amazing. Yes, it's $99, but you can use my discount code to get an additional discount on the box. It's already a deal, but with my discount, it becomes a steal. Everything is full size. You've got highlighters, you get lippies, you get kits, you get this full on palette. The palette alone is $99. So the fact that you are getting a full on palette and then you're getting all these other extra full size Ofra Cosmetics product is amazing. So I figured let's play around, let's create a look using this eyeshadow palette considering I did the unboxing but I never got around to doing an eye look. There's a few shades here that I am obsessed with because they're more on the smoky tone side. I love me a good purple. That is my glow through me eventually notice I didn't blend it out all the way. Have a good laugh for me. Looks like a poop smear. This black is everything. This bronzer is Americano. It is my personal favorite. We're gonna start off the look with my Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas and Fair. Because this baby is new, I can just use my beauty sponge and dip it in there for product. Now a little bit is gonna go a very long way, so I did remove excess. And believe it or not, I have zero foundation on my skin. I went in with the JLo Beauty That Star Filter all over the skin. Some concealer, I didn't even bronze actually. Uh, I went in with concealer, a little bit of powder, and called it a day, and then obviously I have some blush on. Grabbing my fluffy Ofra brush, I'm gonna start off by applying Americano all over the crease. I'm gonna focus it out here, blend, 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 and then bring it forward. And you guys, stay throughout this video. Do not go anywhere. We are announcing the mystery box giveaway in this video. With that very same brush, I'm going to dip into this taupey brown shade. And I'm gonna apply that on the crease. We're color building over here, guys. I'm gonna apply that on the crease as well. I'm gonna go ahead, kinda go do one of these. Dweaky, dweaky, go around in circular motions. Motions, not motions, motions. And then blend through to the beginning of the eye. So what you wanna do with this one is add some depth because we have our bronzer out here. And you guys know me, there's a black in this palette. There's no way I can avoid that black. I have to use the black because it's just my color. And you guys know me, we're gonna go a little darker here. We're gonna add a little something, something on the outer crease area. However, you know, I want there to be a nice gradient between that bronzer shade and the eyeshadow shade. And the beauty about these Ofra powders is you can use them all over the face. You can multitask them. You can use them to set foundation depending on your skin complexion. You can wet them and create eyeliners because they're wet dry formulas. So when it comes to Ofra, not only do they make everything here in Florida in their labs, but they make sure that everything is safe enough to use all over your skin and they're multitaskable. With another fluffy brush, I'm gonna dip into the banana shade and I'm gonna set the lid completely. Make sure I brighten this area up. I'm grabbing an angled brush, this one's by Ofra, and I'm gonna use Ofra's Makeup Fixer because it's right here in front of me. I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush. And yes, I usually have a lot of Ofra products here in front of me. I can't help it, I really, really love their product. I'm gonna take that wet brush, I'm gonna dip it into the black shade. And now I've really gotta get close to a mirror and I'm gonna wing this baby out. Look how smooth. With a very small fluffy brush, I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse this baby before it fully, fully sets. I'm gonna leave the wing alone though. And now that it's diffused, I'm gonna go back in and add a little more depth close to the lash line. All right, so you're just gonna keep going and blend, blend, blend until you have a nice gradient. And to help with the gradient, you could always go back in with that same brush you used in the inner corner and kind of tap whatever's left on the brush on. That adds a little more eyeshadow and brightness to the eye. And then you go back in and blend again. Before I put that palette away, I'm gonna grab that same brush. I'm gonna go into this deeper shade and I'm gonna drag some of that down here. I don't want it to be super dark, but I wanna add a little bit of a shadow. And I wasn't gonna use this one, but I might as well. My Ofra Verified Liner. Seems like everything is Ofra themed here, why not? I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda like emphasize that line really quickly. And then I'll emphasize my lash line. I'll go ahead and curl the lashes. And then I'll build up my It Superhero Mascara. You know what, you guys? I think we're gonna go falsy list today. I'm also feeling a little off. I don't know why, but I am. I think I'm just tired. 
I'm gonna let the top lashes dry. I'll go ahead and pop on just the smallest amount on the bottom because if I kind of over apply or if I give it like a normal coat, my lower lashes get really dramatic and I don't know why, like it's just not what I'm kind of going for today. I don't want all the drama on the bottom lash line. So I'm gonna kind of like just do this. You see, just simple, just one quick swipe and leave it alone. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and apply our second coat. And then I think I want to touch up my lippy. I've been drinking coffee, so it's kind of faded a little bit. The lip combo we are refreshing today is going to be the Dragon Beauty 2.0 CCs along with one of the Maybelline vinyls. This is the Super Stay Vinyl Ink in the shade 20 Koi. This is the kind that you have to kind of take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. The formula is cute, but it doesn't fully dry down like the Urban Decay one, so it'll stay a little on the tacky side. I find it to be slightly weird. Um, but I, I do like the color, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline, and then I'll take the liquid lip, apply it on the center like so, and then I'll blend it out with my finger. That way it's like nice and soft. I feel like we need to brighten the eye a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my banana powder by Ofra. I'm gonna remove excess, and I'm gonna apply that under the eyeball and pull up. That's gonna give me like a nice lift. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other eyeball. All right, you guys, let me fix my hair really quickly and I'll be back. All right, you guys, and here is the completed look. The only thing maybe I would have changed is kind of covering these blemishes up, but the reality is I'm human and I didn't wanna wear foundation today. So I kind of skipped on that and that's okay. Now let's get on to the mystery box giveaway announcement. One person is gonna win the entire Ofra Cosmetics mystery box bundle that I received in PR. And no worries, this one was my palette, okay? The mystery box has the brand new palette in there. It's perfection. The giveaway will be open to the US and Canada as per usual. And the giveaway entry form is located in the description box below. All you really need to do is fill out that form, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, and leave a comment letting me know which item was your favorite out of the Ofra Cosmetics mystery bundle in general. Now this giveaway will be open for two weeks, so you'll have two weeks to always come back and sign up if you're not able to do that today. And I want to remind you guys that I never announce any winners in the comment section. I will always announce it on video so you will see it and hear me say who the winner is and I will never ask you guys to download an app, give me some money, cash app. I don't do any of that. Those are all spammers. There's nothing that I can do about it. YouTube goes behind the scenes and tries to kind of like shut it down, but sometimes it just happens a bit too much. I don't want anyone getting scammed. So make sure you don't share any of your personal information in any of my videos comment sections. I really hope you have enjoyed it, today's video. And if you're new here, I want to take a moment to invite you to join a little family here on the YouTube by hitting the subscribe button below. I upload six days out of the week because I want to make sure you have fun, ongoing content at all given times. And I'm going to go ahead and recommend two videos here on screen. I'm hoping you'll consider checking out and if you do i will see you guys over there bye guys